we hit the midpoint of our name pennant project, it's time for a checkup. Just a few things to think about that I've noticed as I've walked around the classroom observing everybody's work. It seems that a lot of us are struggling with texture. Just remember, if you touched it, how would it feel? You are tricking the eye. So, if you look at these examples, a smooth texture is created by gradual changes between light and dark. For rough texture, you create frequent changes between light and dark, and it gives the illusion of something being rough. Check out the examples. So you have one through five, and everything appears to be a different texture. So go back through your project and see where you can improve upon your, your markings to help increase the tactile quality of your drawing. For example, number one, it's smooth, but it's not slick looking, right? So it doesn't look rough, but it doesn't look super shiny or smooth. Number two, it looks shiny because of the high contrast and the break from light and dark. And it looks like you could touch it and it would be almost like a piece of metal or glass. Number three, looks hairy. Look at the marks. You have light and dark and boom, boom, boom. They're changing. Because the values are changing fast, more frequently, it gives the appearance that it has a rougher texture than number two or number one. Number four, it's more gradual. It looks fluffy and soft. You look at the edges, they're blurry, so it gives the illusion that it's fluffy or that it feels like cotton. Number five, the changes in value are boom, boom. They're very sharp and defined, and so what happens is number five looks rough. There's some that are struggling with color. Don't really like it, just like black and white, but I'm requiring you to do at least one color. So what do you do? Why don't you go for high impact? Boom, pow, put a splash in there. Draws the eye, seriously powerful impact with your favorite color, can't go wrong. And this brings us to space. This seems to be where the majority of people are struggling are. Space is how images in a composition relate to one another and give the illusion of depth and perspective. So, if an object is covered by another, it will appear further away. Example, the planet is covered by the clouds and appears further away from the viewer. Also, the lower an image is in a composition, the closer it appears. In the above work, the sea is lower in the composition than the clouds, and so it appears closer to the viewer. These ideas also apply to simple compositions, such as the one on the left. Another struggle that I'm seeing going on right now as people progress in their designs is deciding is something a shape or is it a form? Just remember, shapes don't have any depth to them. It doesn't look like you could pick them up or walk around them. There's not really going to be any shading in them. They're just flat. Maybe a flat color or a flat design is a shape. An outline will flatten objects and make them appear to be a shape. A form, however, looks like you could pick it up. You could walk around it. An easy way to create the illusion of form in a drawing is to provide a shadow on the object. It gives the appearance of depth and volume. Also, you can change organic shapes to forms by applying the same methods as you would like a cube or sphere or a pyramid. It doesn't have to be a geometric shape or form. I'm so proud of you guys because I'm not really hearing, but I can't draw or I don't know how or I'll mess up. You're going for it and look, it is looking amazing. But at any time, if you consider those things, you start to get scared. Just remember that what your current idea of what art is, is probably way too small. And there's a variety of different ways of tackling design. And that's why I'm here to help you, so feel free to catch me in class or send me a message or email and I'll help you figure out how to overcome the challenges that you're facing. See you soon.